Welcome back YouTube. I got a few packages in the mail. I'm gonna do uh, one video per each. I'm not entirely sure what's in here right now, but you'll you'll know by the title of the video. So let's see uh, what we got. This is from abbooks.com and I'm not sure who the seller was, um, but let's see what I got here. Okay, so it's well packaged, two layers. Uh, I know what it is now. You guys will see in a second. Here we go. As you can see there, Lucretius on the Nature of Things by the Folio Society. This is a book that is no longer in production. Uh, that's why I got it second hand from AB Books. It's in a near fine condition. You can tell the brown slip case. And you can see on the spine here, this is actually quarter bound in leather. Um, and then the gold gilding on the side there. Let's take a look on the inside. So, as you can see, you got the front artwork here, the quarter leather with a gold gilt line down the side there, the spine you saw, and likewise on the back. On the top, which is interesting, it's almost it's like a brown, um, brown edges on the paper here, like it's as if it was burnt, matching the color of the leather, while the remaining two sides are the standard white. Of course, it's printed on acid-free neutral paper, so you don't have to worry about uh, the paper degrading over time or with the oil or an acid from your hands. Oh, I guess we got a thank you for buying from Hawk Ridge Books, Antiquarian and Fine Books, and all subjects uh, bought and sold specialists in natural history, particular ornithology. Uh, let's see, Manchester Road, Sheffield, UK. I'll put their uh, website in the link below and that's just the invoice. So as you can see you got matching brown end papers to the slipcase, brown, and then you got the text block on the nature of things. A translation by Sir Ronald Melville, so that's who did uh, this translation here. Introduction and notes by Don and um, Peta, let me see what this is, uh, Fowler, Preface, AC, uh, Crayling, and From Peace Engraving by Simon Brett. So let's move on here. Let's see, this is a second printing from 2003. That's what it says here. Uh, set in um, Polyphius and Baldo type at the Folio Society printed in Great Britain at the Bath at the Bath Press Bath on I think it's just the rest of information there okay so we got the preface translators translators preface introduction um, can't read that upside down synopsis of the poem on the nature of things the main text notes and select bibliography so you got your preface there and um, on the nature of things is a, is a poem written in verse here, as you can see here. And what's nice is it's more of an academic style because, as you can tell, they have the numbering in the margins here. So that, say, in a class, you're studying the text, you want to make reference to specific lines, it doesn't matter what book you own, what printing you own, it'll the same lines, regardless of the translation, will be in the same place. So someone could say 672, so you go 671, 2. And then you got your line there. And that's what, um, that's how you make quick reference. And usually you got stuff like this and uh, poems and 
in Socratic dialogues and stuff like that. But there's different formats. So it's really nice that they included these um, uh, the numbering in the margins here. Now let's take a look at the text itself and see how the translation is. So let me just read a part here. There is this also, if they admit that void is mixed with things, then it is possible for fire to be condensed and rarefied. But since they see so many obstacles, they shrink from leaving pure void in things. Fearing the heights, they lose the path of truth. Nor do they see that, once void is removed, all things must be condensed, and everything become one single body that cannot throw off. It's actually a pretty good translation here. I have not read this text before, um, but I have heard of Sir Ronald Melville, and uh, it is a good a good translation, quite readable, uh, if you're interested in this sort of thing. But um, let me just um, go through a little bit of the introduction and give you guys a little bit of an outline here. It says, All nature, as it is, as it is in itself, consists of two things. There are bodies, and there, are, uh, and there is void, in which these bodies are, and through which they move. This statement could have come from the opening of any textbook of natural science, before the modern elaboration of subatomic physics. In fact, it is a translation of two lines by a Latin poet writing over 2,000 years ago, who based his account of the world on the theories of a Greek philosopher living over 200 years earlier still. Lucretius, on the nature of things, the literal meaning of the Latin title De Redum Natura, uh, gives an account of the world, the universe, and everything in terms of atomic physics. So that's what the, the essence of this book is. You could probably find some more information on Wikipedia. And um, if you go look on AB, you can still find they have quite a few copies of this in different conditions, of course. Uh, so that was On the Nature of Things by Lucretius by the Folio Society. I have another book in an upcoming video. The next video, actually. I'm not sure what it is yet, but uh, you'll see in the title and you'll see in the video. So, like I said, that's from the Folio Society. Keep an eye out for more videos in the future. Don't forget to rate, to comment, and to subscribe. And as always, guys, keep on reading.